So, Sons of the Force is on the horizon, and I am pleasantly surprised to learn that the game is going to be released in early access rather than full released as originally planned. The PC specifications are higher than expected now after they updated on Steam, but the game is still on track for the release date of February 23rd. You should make sure you at least have 12 gigabytes of RAM, a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 or AMD Ryzen 570, uh, 20 gigabytes of available space. It's not going to be that big of a game, but it's going to be a little heavier than the forest um and for console players you might have to wait another two years for the full release but the game's cost will remain at 30 currently even though it isn't in early access we will receive no early access discount and hopefully early access for the sons of the forest goes by a lot faster with the forest but only time will tell if you don't know, here's a quick recap of what we know the game is going to be. Sons of the Force survival game that is set in a remote island where players venture to rescue a missing billionaire. The game features more complex mechanics, a larger world size, and a dynamic environment that reacts to players' actions. The story unfolds as players explore the island, interact with the environment, and uncover fragments of information. There are also new features such as changing seasons and improved combat and building mechanics. The game also includes AI components and co-op support. And you will also get this fun little AI companion if you are solo or multiplayer that you can end off at any time during the playthrough. You can either turn them off in the beginning or you can end them yourself during the playthrough. And there are also other AI companions you can find throughout the game. Um, some of the gameplay elements are going to be very similar to the forest originally. You're still going to be able to have that sandbox feel while also being able to explore the storyline and watch how the AI reacts. The AI in Sons of the Forest is going to be completely different because there's going to be different cannibal factions and kind of factions, yeah. They're going to be interacting with each other and interacting with you and based off your actions and other AI's actions, your gameplay can be completely different from someone else's based on what you do and where you do it and when you do it. Um, it's really cool, and I'm really excited for this game. Definitely gonna drop 30 on it. I feel like that's the perfect price for a game like this. Um, fuck AAA games being $60, personally.